YouTube, what's going on? Mike here, back with another video. How you guys doing, man? Ah, another day, another dollar. <laughs> yeah, I'm back at it. Man, sorry if there's a glare. Should be gone pretty soon. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the time of the day. Anyway, uh, how you guys doing today? Uh, just going on a quick little ride. Uh, man, it's hot today. It's like 90-something. And, um, yeah, just wanted to, um, I was having this talk that day, and I saved it in my mind, I'm like, uh, me and my friends were talking about submission, you know, uh, <laughs> what level submission do you require for what you're doing? So pretty much we were putting it, talking, and we are like, all right, well, how much of the bills do you feel like you have to pay to get a, a level, uh, a certain level of submission? So me, you know, I put my two cents in and say, I pay 100% of my bills, in my house with me and my wife so i should get a hundred percent submission and we're so he's like so what you're saying if you if you're in a relationship that's doing 50 50 then what you should only get 50 percent submission well i don't know that's why i'm posing this question sharing it with you guys see what you guys think um because when you hear conversations like because you know one of my other friends brought up well look about the guys that come here from other countries standing on the street working day to day and they come home and get submission from their wives without even paying all you know like I mean well when you think about it usually they are paying all the bills but sometimes you know the wife might babysit or do something or and it's like should it really have to be that way now in modern times now you know there's different conversations people are having and um about you know it should it should be equal submission between men and women and um i'm gonna tell you this much i don't i don't believe in that at all and i'll tell you this much my wife watches my video so everything i'm saying is how i actually live so um we're gonna go this way today trust me when i tell you this is how it really is you know and i like i said if i was if I was a date nowadays, um, or dating to actually be with someone hypothetically, like me and my wife wasn't together or nothing like that, um, my mindset would go for a younger woman, just off the top. Why? Because um, just how, even when I got my wife, like I was kind of mature for my age, like I knew what I wanted, I knew what I wanted a family, I knew I wanted to settle down at like 23, you know, and it was just like, um, when I met her, it was like instantly I knew I'm like, all right. She's teachable. I can, I can get her on my 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 program. You know what I'm saying? Man, I forgot it was school zone. So yeah, what what do you guys think? Chime in if you think that's. I mean, cause hey, I'm not. A, I don't believe in 50/50. I'm not a 50/50 type of guy. I just, you know, if I have a wife or a girlfriend, I feel if and if she's living with me, I'm gonna pay for everything. That's just the way I think. Um, you don't have to believe that. It is what it is. <laughs> So I feel like if I'm doing that, I deserve 100% submission, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, just off top. Now, just to put in some context, what does 100% submission look like to me? Um, is, uh, cause I don't, you know, I guess nowadays women think that's slavery. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but no, my wife is not a slave. She does whatever she wants. Um, for the most part within reason but she's a, she's respectful to me so she acts you know asks me first before certain things that's just how it is sometimes I'm like oh baby you ain't have to ask me it's cool you know or it is what or let me think about it depends on what the situation might be so you gotta uh, but other than that um, as far as um, if she's going somewhere or whatever the case may be she does the things on her own like sometimes she goes to the gym on her own like you know it's just i don't follow her everywhere it's not no stalker type i don't know what women think of submission you know that's just her um being a feminine woman towards me like just pretty much um doing anything that i ask <laughs> for the most part whatever i need her to do she does for me because you got to think about it like this. I'm the one out there working, doing everything I have to do. So, I mean, here's my wife even cuts the grass, like, believe it or not. And, you know, you don't hear that much in certain situations you do. 
because I'll say this when I go around in my neighborhood or even when I say this to my brother and he's like oh I see white women cutting grass all the time or Spanish women I'm like yeah but black women uh, not too much there are some I'm not gonna but majority will not do that <laughs> my wife saw that you know I was working I'd come home sometimes I'm like oh, it's hot I'm tired I'll do it tomorrow one day she just tried it and she's like oh I like doing it it's actually like a workout so I don't literally um, and she does a good job she's been doing it for a while now so I've helped her out showed her how to do things she likes to do it so I'm not gonna stop her <laughs> you know and like I said she works from from home for me so that's what a hundred percent submit submission looks like in my life you know she cooks she cleans she does my laundry she you know if I'm running low on like herbal stuff she'll reorder it like she takes care of me you know that's just what it is and I enjoy that you know I enjoy that and she enjoys it she tells me it's not an easy job and I believe her it's definitely not easy so you know when she says see things on social media where our women wish they can be stay-at-home wives and stuff like that she's like she says most of the time man most of those women can't handle this job and I agree but on the other hand how I see it let's just say if the situation was a 50 50 paying half the bills well in my eyes I, I feel like well you got to split some of the chores then I mean, think about it like this. I have my ways of thinking, but I don't think it's fair for a woman, especially for a woman that has children for their husband, to go to work, come home, take care of the kids, food, uh, dinner, whatever, laundry, all that, all by herself. The, the man should have to help a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But if you're taking care of everything and she stays at home while you, you're out conquering the world, then yeah, I mean, all that stuff needs to be done in my eyes. Because if it was the tables were turned, if I was to choose to be a stay-at-home dad and you were the one working, I wouldn't. You wouldn't have to do anything when you came home. So, wouldn't it be only fair the other way around? You know. So, I I, I believe in equality somewhat, but I still believe as the male to be the the head of the household, the protector, the provider, the king. And you know, yeah, you got a queen, so the king, you know, needs to be taken care of by the queen. You know, <laughs> in my eyes, that's how it goes. And you know, people can have different opinions. Um, some people feel like, some men feel like they should require 100% submission no matter what a woman's taking care of, but that's just not how I feel, you know? And so that's where the conversation went. And from there he stemmed on and asked me, he was like, could you, would you be with a woman that makes more than you? I'm like, huh, it'd be hard to find one, but realistically, if, if no. That's, that was my, my, I'm like, no, because I've, I've known women and dealt with women who've made more than the man and it never ends well in the beginning like the power especially if I'm talking about black women not all of them I'm not gonna you know let me always put that out there because oh you hate it oh I'm like look bro my wife is black I love black women it is what it is <laughs> you know but my whole thing is I'm a man and I'm gonna be a man so yeah do I feel that uh this is stem off of that a little bit do I feel like men and women are equal uh equal as far as having rights sure that that but as far as physically no <laughs> no me and my wife uh we do a lot of things together i mean we box we spar um she 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 knows that i have to play she can go a little bit serious with me and knows that i i can't strike back forcefully you know it's just that's how it is um we snorkel together me and my wife are kind of like that's you know where that's why i don't when I'm told, when I'm re looking at this content on YouTube, and I'm gonna share this with all you guys, don't ever take anyone's opinion 100%. Don't do that. So, like Kevin Sams, you said, men and women shouldn't. They're, we're not friends. We don't want you as friends. Well, I don't. In my relationship, me and my wife are great friends because of the circumstances we had to deal with, and dealing with people. As far as we've had to naturally become each other's friends because we've had friends that just come and go. So we find out we love we like our each other's company better. The conversations we tend to like the same type of things. And she's been with me throughout her, I say her adult development. Let's just say that since she was young. Um, and to be honest, like I'm like my wife's like first real relationship, if you want to put it like that, you know. So when you when people say, oh, uh, women shouldn't uh, go out and experience things and before they settle down I'm a firm believer that they don't need to do any of that 
<laughs> my wife gained all her experience being with me and that's how I like it so yeah that's so um, just trying to sum it up guys and I just feel like you know that's my kind of stance on it you know um, if you're you know like I said most people nowadays have to have two incomes coming in the household so in my opinion those households have to have an understanding to where like okay um, we're gonna do this this day we're gonna do that that day especially you know I just that's just some people have it to where they may have they might have a hundred percent submission in it in a, um, you know equal income household so here yeah, guys finally out of that little traffic um, so yeah that's just um I, I believe in fairness you know I don't think men should be a tyrant and just uh, uh, over women and men women don't listen and you know just crazy stuff because I will say you know I um, value my wife's counsel very much do I take her opinion all the time or her suggestion all the time no I'll listen to it if I think it's good I'll use it if not okay honey that's okay you know that's just how it is I make the final decision in my house somebody has to be the leader and my wife doesn't want to be responsible for none of that stuff you know it's not tough on my end either I got to take care of all the bills insurance car notes everything and so um, you know I got to keep up with all that stuff but this is the life I choose to live and this what works best for me I get a hundred percent submission I don't get no pushback I get everything I want on demand <laughs> so look that's the life I choose to live now if you're a guy and you have your wife is working or she chooses to work because there's the times my wife wanted to work I mean she still has she still runs her own little business on the side that I don't mess with so it's just you know it is what it is not that I, I don't want to say I don't mess with because there's times I've gone to pop-up shops with her and if you've been following me you've, either, you've heard me talk about this before so yeah guys so let me know in the comment section how you feel about this topic um, let me sum it up for you guys I believe it's on percentage so if you're paying 70% of the bills and only she's paying 30 hey you deserve at least 70% submission if not more you know it depends on how you and your significant other have things worked out in your home um, and stuff like that but if your wife is working or your girlfriend is working just as much as you putting in just as much financial effort as you I'm sorry for you man you know if you if you're not getting a hundred percent submission then nothing I can tell you you got to work with the cards you dealt with in life you know and even but I'll say this even before my business I got my business and my wife was she never paid any bills so I've always paid all the bills she might have paid like car note back with back her own car note back then or you know some the groceries she played the groceries and the car note back then but I still so I, I still I pretty much throughout my relationship with my wife before I got married it was probably it was it was a hundred percent submission so if I've always gotten that from my wife so I did that's what I required anyway you know I wasn't trying to deal with a, a woman that don't listen and you know this this the masculinity on a woman is I mean look you're gonna get some pushback here and there my wife is not like she wasn't she she, <laughs> she pushes back here and there sometimes she uh, the quote-unquote shit test you might want to call I get those constantly still she'll try to test my authority and I gotta just put her put her in a place you know that's just is what it is Sorry if I'm talking bad to some people, but this is for men, really, for the most part. So men, men really watch my channel for the most part. So, look, um, that's just how it is, and my wife will love it. <laughs> my wife, she's actually thinking about starting her own channel, trying to coach women into how to be a good woman. You know, my like I said, my wife was with me before I got everything I got, so she deserves everything now. You see what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. She, she's built with me. Now, I've said this before, if the submission thing, we're still on that topic, if I was to date out here and I was to meet a woman and I would still require her, whether she had a job or not, because of what I, what I offer and what I can do and what I require. Because once I say I'm choosing you as to be my woman or to be with me or I want to make this serious, then it's going to be leaning towards you not working as much. Now, if you choose to work as much and you choose to be that, then it might not work out with me. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think sometimes women want us to, to accept 
their terms you know like if you get with a woman like she wants to work that that, that then you don't want to be with her no more and then probably yeah <laughs> that's my choice you know I, that's just just how i feel about it but anyway guys uh appreciate you guys always riding with me as always let me know what you think in the comments and uh, my next video will probably be my 5,000 mile review. I just got over 5,000 miles. So, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But all right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.